Do you think you know what a suspicious skin spot looks like? Most people picture a big, dark mole or a scary raised lump. And that's not wrong. But here's the truth. Some of the most dangerous skin cancers don't look like what you'd expect. And that's exactly why they get missed. Today, we will be discussing the top myth that patients have about suspicious skin spots and the real facts you need to know to protect yourself. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Maria Zizian, a board-certified general surgeon and an IFM-certified functional medicine physician. On this channel, I share health tips on skin health, food and supplements, functional medicine, surgery, and the latest medical research to help you feel your best. And if that sounds good, please like, share with your friends and family, and subscribe. Myth number one, raised spots are the most concerning. Is that true? Many people assume that a raised bump is automatically dangerous, but in reality, most raised spots people notice on their skin are seborrheic keratosis, or barnacles, as they are often called colloquially. These are completely benign, like growths that can appear waxy, scaly, or have this stuck-on appearance. They often increase with age, and while very annoying, they are not cancerous. Seborrheic keratosis can be pink, yellow, whitish, and black. Yet, I do have to say that sometimes a black-colored seborrheic keratosis and melanoma could look similar. So, in some cases, it's not straightforward and the biopsy is indicated. Also, some raised spots can be cancerous, like basal cell carcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma. They can be raised and nodular or crusty. So there is some truth here that these raised spots are cancerous. But here's the surprising fact. The most serious skin cancer, melanoma, is more likely to start as a flat spot. Only when melanoma is advanced, it may become raised. And that's why during my skin checks, I pay a lot of attention to flat moles. Some of these flat moles can be atypical and ultimately lead to melanoma if the level of atypia is significant. And it may look like a slightly irregular mole or a new patch of pigment that doesn't stand out much at first. Because it's flat and painless, many people ignore it. So the bottom line, are the raised spots the most concerning? Many raised spots are benign, like seborrheic keratosis, yet some raised lesions are cancerous. So the truth is both raised and flat spots should be on your radar. So to say that the raised spots are the most concerning is just inaccurate, but it's not a complete misconception. Myth number two, dark spots are always worse. Well, it's easy to assume that the darker the mole, the more dangerous it is. But that's not always the case. First of all, depending on a person's natural coloring and ethnic background, having darker spots or pigmented areas can be completely normal. People with darker skin often develop benign pigmented spots or moles that reflect their genetics and origin, not necessarily disease. So it's not the color alone that matters. It's whether a spot is new, changing, or looks different from the rest. In fact, some of the most deceptive skin cancers aren't dark at all. There are pink or red skin cancers, such as certain types of squamous cell carcinoma or basal cell carcinoma, that people may ignore because they don't fit this classic picture of skin cancer that people have in their mind. Even more concerning, there are melanomas called amelanotic melanomas, meaning that they don't have the melanin, which is the dark pigment. These amelanotic melanomas can appear pink, skin colored, or even slightly reddish. And these lighter melanomas are particularly tricky because they're often misdiagnosed as benign moles or even sunspots. Unfortunately, this delay in diagnosis means that they're often found at the later more dangerous stage. So here's the truth. It's not just the dark spots that deserve your attention. Any new spot or one that changes in color, size, shape, or becomes symptomatic with symptoms like pain, itching, bleeding needs to be checked. Myth number three. I know I'm fine because I don't feel anything suspicious on my skin. This one comes up a lot. It comes up all the time. Patients tell me it doesn't hurt, so I'm not worried, or I would know if something was wrong, I can feel my skin. 
Unfortunately, that's not how skin cancer works. Many skin cancers are completely painless in the beginning. They don't burn, itch, or throb. In fact, the dangerous ones usually grow silently. By the time they start to cause symptoms like pain, itching, or bleeding, they may already be at an advanced stage. Another issue is visibility. Many of the most dangerous melanomas appear in areas you can't easily see yourself, like your back, scalp, back of your legs, or buttocks. Interestingly, over the years, I have found many atypical moles on the buttocks during routine skin checks. People often confuse I don't feel it with it's not there. But the truth is you can't feel skin cancer forming and you can't always see it without a proper skin exam. And that's why relying only on what you feel is one of the most dangerous mistakes people make. Myth number four, freckles are fine and not dangerous. Well, freckles are often seen as harmless little specks, signs of sun exposure or just genetics. And most of the time they are harmless. However, it all depends on what you call freckles. Many of these freckles are actually solar lentiginous, also known as sunspots, and they're also generally harmless. But here's the catch. Not everything that looks like a freckle is truly a freckle. Some spots that resemble freckles may actually be atypical moles, which carry a higher risk of turning into melanoma. And even trained eyes can sometimes struggle to tell the difference. That's why I use and I love using dermoscopy, a magnified light tool to examine pigmented spots more closely and to detect the pattern or lack of it. But even with dermoscopy, in some cases it is difficult to discern. Melanoma can mimic freckles or sunspots, making them one of the trickiest types of skin cancer to catch early. So while most freckles are nothing to worry about, you shouldn't automatically assume all freckles are safe. So to summarize, here's the big picture. Raised spots are usually harmless seborrheic keratosis. Dark spots aren't always the most dangerous. Skin cancers could be silent and asymptomatic in their early stages, and freckles aren't always harmless. Skin cancer doesn't always play by the rules. That's why regular skin checks at home and by a professional are so critical. The earlier we find it, the better the outcome. So don't wait until a spot feels wrong. When in doubt, get it checked out. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.